Good morning, everyone. Day one. Te technically, te day two? Day we only left. had a night, so this is definitely day one. But we left during the day, so we are 18 hours in. We are 100 miles out. And the seas have been very nice to us. Mother Nature has been very good. We only had to motor for a couple hours right off the bat to get out of uh, Salinas. And now we're cruising along. Sails out. Seven knots. We're making good time. Really nice time. I'm just sitting there. <laughs> Super thankful for our very favorable sea conditions. It was so crazy before we left, I just didn't have any time to do food prep at all, which I normally do. I make like salads and dips and easy snacky things and chop up lots of veggies and fruit, and I had no time. So, it's nice and calm, well, as calm as you can expect, so it's food prep day. <laughs> And Jason can nap or hang out, whatever. I've got an eye on the helm here. I've got good visibility out all of my windows so I can see everything. And I've got my radar going. And I can control all of this from the iPad. Even our autopilot. So if I needed to adjust course, I could do that as well. So still keeping an eye on everything and working in the galley. It's a beautiful thing. It's been 24 hours. I think it's time to test my epoxy job. We've been getting water? a lot of salt. Oops, sorry. Are you testing it with water? No, rinsing off the salt. Oh. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could come out of the shower like fully clothed every time? Prompt two clamp. Hope it worked. Right, gotta go back in the shower. Almond juice. Okay. Feel strong? I'm not gonna test it. Are you crazy? Yeah. Uh, wasn't supposed to happen. Let's try this again. Right. Ooh, it's chilly. <laughs> Day one?
this is technically night two, <laughs> but it is incredible. If the weather stays like this, it is going to be beautiful long sail because it's nice and calm right now. Sure, we don't have a lot of wind. We're only going like four and a half to five knots because we only have nine knots of wind. Man, it's peaceful and the moon is out and the clouds are there and so it's bright. It's very twilighty outside. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, it is just a little after midnight and I am on watch. I've been kind of doing these longer shifts. You know, kind of like you're on watch until you don't want to be on watch anymore. So far it's working out, we'll see. Uh, but it's allowing us to sleep longer stretches or to only sleep when we're tired and then when we're awake, we're awake. So, uh, I just laid down and I was out for like a good four hours and then Jason came and woke me up, so. Yeah, I'm just kind of happy to be out here. Feel good. That sunrise. Wow. Oh, check out all the dolphins. Holy cow. Just go on forever. Good morning! <laughs> wow, look at them all! That's amazing! Oh, they're so going right in front of us. Yay! Come by, say hello! Whoa, big Whoa, jump! They're so pretty! Haha! <laughs> they're on a mission. It's laundry day. <laughs> Nikki stayed up really late, so she's taking a nap. There's Cleo. It's time to wake up, love. Sleeping beauty. With your mascot. Almost sundowner time. Perfect. <laughs> I love for you too, Cleo. There are these like slow rollers just coming over. So it's like rolling hills almost. It's very mesmerizing. It's kind of like a drum beat, just that consistent ocean swell. one downside to making bread while underway. The waves crashing and just kind of hitting us from the side, it's just enough bang to make my rise fall. So it's not quite as lofty as it would normally be, but still bread nonetheless. And it is a coconut oat bread. 
I will put a link to my recipe in the description below. If you make this at a non-bouncing way, then it will rise higher. At 11 o'clock, it's a um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful night, and I can't complain at all. Five knots, four and a half, five knots we're doing speed, and 10 knots of wind. It's sort of downwindish. It's just absolutely, Mother Nature has been so kind to us, and I cannot tell you how great this experience is right now. Uh, three nights, this is our third night out and just having time to sort of ease in when the, when the seas are calm. It's just been, we're so fortunate, so fortunate to have this beautiful few days. Uh, you know, last night, actually yesterday afternoon, I was feeling a little queasy, but like 100% today, which is awesome. Nikki's taking over, it's 11 o'clock, she's taking over about one. She's more of a night owl than I am. She's amazing. Like she cooks. She's beautiful. She's she's just so strong and smart. And man, she's like my rock. You know, my my best friend. My she's, she's everything. And you know, these past three months have been the most difficult months that we've ever experienced together. Um, We've had more disagreements than we've ever had before, and I think it boils down to the boat, you know, in uh, the RV, which we did for seven years traveling, it, it was just a lot less stressful. And, you know, the editing a video, shooting a video, coming up with a story, staying positive, uh, finding something fun to film that's challenging and, and enjoyable. It's a full-time job. That that's a full-time job. And then throw in the boat, like maintenance, is is another full-time job. And then planning for just this French Polynesia trip, going through the Panama Canal, and uh, you know the road trip that we took in Ecuador. It's all. It's just so much work. It's, it's enjoyable and it's fulfilling, but. You know, I watched so many videos and read so many books about living on a boat before we decided to, to take on this lifestyle. And I don't know, you read that it's a lot of work and you read that it's a lot of money, but I'm telling you, and if you're listening to me, you're probably not gonna believe me, you probably won't understand it, but it is insanely stressful. And it's really, really trying on a marriage when you're two people together non-stop to deal with everything that encompasses this lifestyle it will either pull you apart or push you together and days like the past three days have just glued us right back together not that we were having that many issues it was just you know having more arguments we hardly ever argue but being out here and enjoying this lifestyle and having this disconnectivity from having to plan other than looking at the weather uh, it's just 
this is what it's about. And once we get to French Polynesia, we'll be in the South Pacific and hopefully we'll be able to dive more. And we just, there's just so much hope for the next 20 days at sea and then the next six months to a year exploring these islands that is there's so much to look forward to. And hopefully we're in a better place and we can make better videos and balance our time better and take care of ourselves and our personal health much better. And now I just dropped a bomb on you. That's like, that's, wow. It's just been that amazing being out here. And I'll leave it at that. I don't know. She's amazing. She, this is amazing. I'm feeling really fulfilled right now. Let's just say that. Oh, and by the way, it's a little chilly. The wind kicks up and it's actually cold. So I'm wearing pants and a sweater. 